Good evening, YouTube. I'm uh, in the bus here, working on stuff. It's a mess, as usual. Uh, but I've made some progress, and I want to share a little bit of what I've done. So let's turn this thing around, quit looking at my ugly face, and um, show you what I'm doing with the windows. Uh, I have two of these in. These blind, These are cellular blinds. So they come up like that. Cellular means, am I gonna be able to pull? Yeah, there we go. Cellular means there's little cells in here. And what that is going to do is trap the air. So when the sun's beaten down, the air gets trapped. Now what I have yet to do is, I've got, cabinets that go up here I took them down they're right here I have these ones up there same kind of deal I'll put those up over there and maybe I'll even do that before this video is done and then I'm gonna have another uh, I don't know what they call it a valance or some kind of board that's gonna go across here and all the way across the top so what that's going to do is trap the air in here. So when the air heats up back behind here, it's got to get through the cellular blinds if it's going to come in this way. That's pretty much going to stop it. And then if the air rises, it's going to go up, 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 and it's going to hit, and it's going to get trapped right in here between here and the uh, cabinet. So that's kind of my goal with all of this, is to trap the air. And likewise here, I think these are going to have to be bigger they're going to have to be wider. These are actually, these blinds are not, yeah, they're, they're blinds. These are, I think they're 48 inches. They're the largest that Ikea sold. I can get other ones, but they're twice the cost for just an inch or two more on each side. I just didn't feel like it made sense to do that because I'm looking at getting, I don't know, 10, 15 of these blinds. So double the cost, that that turns into thousands of dollars, quite literally. Um, the leveler ones, those are the nice ones. Those are, they'd be, I think, well over a hundred bucks a pop. So you can see the problem here is the bus is at an angle. So if we look straight on, see that's, it traps it in here. But by the time we get down to the bottom, it's shifted over. So that comes out. So I don't want that, this kind of ruins it. So I need to make this even wider. This is already at a foot, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, we're still got, you know, we still have plenty of window space. Let me step away here. Oh, dang it. Oh, it's the second time. These jeans are hosed. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And then down here, uh, don't never mind that speaker. I'm gonna have a piece of oak that's gonna go along the bottom, and then I'm going to drill. I'm gonna build a little uh, standoff piece right here, and so this piece will actually still be able to operate the window. It'll lift up, and the windows can still open then. But it'll look decorative rather than being that uh, piece of aluminum that ran the length of the bus. It's gonna be stained oak. And I've got, oh, I can't really see it on that one. This is, there's some oak behind there. That's going to be stained. This is going to be covered in vinyl. Same vinyl as what I'm going to do on the walls. So it's going to be kind of like a light cream color, uh, dark oak, light cream. Dark oak again. So it's gonna have a nice little pattern to it. Anyway, that's the kind of trouble I've been getting into. See ya, bye, uh, like it, comment, tell me what you think, whatever. Have a good evening, bye. All right, here is with the uh, cabinets up, nothing all that special, just threw them up quick. 
to get a better idea, there'll be a board that goes right underneath here. So it'll hide all the hardware up there, trap the air again. I think it'll be nice. Do that on this side too. We're getting somewhere. All right, bye.